Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve exercise 1.1 problems in our first chapter, real numbers. So here is our first problem. Here two problems are there in first problem, A and B. This is A and this is B. See first one, write any three rational numbers. Write any three rational numbers. So rational numbers means I already explained, you know. All natural numbers, whole numbers, integers or rational numbers. 3, 4, 1 by 2, 5 by 6, 7 by 5. Negative numbers also we can write. Okay. So, 3, they asked 3 but we wrote. Okay. Like that you can write rational numbers. B. Explain rational number in your own words. What is rational number? A number which can be written in P by Q form and Q naught is equals to 0. Denominator 0 avakunda unte then they are rational numbers. The numbers are called rational numbers. Okay. In your own words, you can express like this. And we can give some examples also. 2 by 3 minus 2, 5 by 6. Like that. That is our first problem. Now, in the second problem, they asked, give one example each to the following statements. Give an example to each of the following statements. five statements So, what example First one, a number which is rational but not an integers. Rational number and P by Q formula on the integers and negative numbers, positive numbers and zero. So, here not integer. But it should be rational. So, all the fractions, you can write any fraction. All fractions. Okay. We take a fraction in a right. Second one, whole number which is not a natural number. Natural number starts from 1, 2, 3. Whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. Right. Here the question is a whole number. Which is not a natural number. A mundi kada 0. Next third one. An integer which is not a whole number. Integer avali whole number avali. Whole number and a 0 to start out. Integers and means negative numbers. Pos 0 and positive. See here clearly. All the negative numbers are not whole numbers, right? So, here the question, integer which is not a whole number. And then, minus low a, then I'm going to try it you. All negative numbers. Next, fourth one. A number which is a natural number, whole number, integer and rational number. Natural number of value. Whole number of value, integer of value, rational number of value. So, interview all natural numbers. So, general numbers and natural numbers and nikoda. Whole numbers out there, integers out there, rational code out there. Okay. So, all natural numbers. Next, fifth one. A number which is an integer but not a natural number. Integer avali kani natural number avakoda do ane the question. Zero and negative numbers natural number avale So zero 
and minus 3 minus 2. So here 0 and all negative numbers for this. So like this you can write the answers for these simple problems. So confusion lay kunda. In the introduction class, I already explained natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers. So, if you keep those points in your brain, easily you can write answers for this question. Now, we will see our third and fourth problems also. What is third problem is, find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. In do these try these problems I already explained in our previous video. So see here find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. So they didn't ask calculate in the mean method right. So in very simple simple method we will do this. How can we write 1? We are multiplying with 10 by 10. So 1 into 10, 10 by 10. Next 2. 2 also I am multiplying with 10 by 10. 2 into 10, 20 by 10. So they asked 5 rational numbers. 10 by 10 ki, 20 by 10 ki, 11 by 10, 12 by 10. Avan ni untai kada? So, 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2 is equal to 11 by 10, 12 by 10. 13 by 10, 14 by 10, 15 by 10, 19 by 10 were good. But they just asked only 5. So we wrote 5. We can write. So like this, we can solve these problems. A very simple method. So our next problem, fourth problem. Insert. 3 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. So, you put manam fourth problem should down. Insert 3 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. So, in this method only we will do. They didn't ask do in mean method. Right? So, we can follow any method. So, here observe these denominators 3 and 5. First of all, we should calculate LCM to get both the denominators same LCM of 3 and 5 they have no common factors right so what product LCM out in 15 so 2 by 3 is equal to to get 15 I have to multiply with 5 both numerator and denominator 10 by 15 and 3 by 5 also to get 15 5 3 is right with the 3 by 3 and multiplying 3 3 is a 9 5 3 is a 15 so if we see this is 9 by 15 and this is 10 by 15 how can we write 3 rational numbers right so again i am multiplying with 10 by 10 10 10 is a 100 by 15 10 is a 150 here also again I am multiplying with 10 by 10, 90 by 150. See, between 90 and 100, there are 10 numbers will be there, no? So, those numbers we can write now. 3 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 is equal to 91 by 150, 92 by 150, 93 by 150, until 99 by 150. So like this we can insert rational numbers. Sorry. Like this we can insert rational numbers between any two numbers. So now we will see our fifth problem. Represent 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 on a number line. First of all, you have to draw the number line. So 
so in the middle zero will be there and left side negative numbers right side positive numbers so here fraction yeah. fractions they give we have to represent these factors on the number line so uh, in the denominator it is my 5 right in the denominator there is 5 so i can write 1 by 5 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 5 by 5 either work at 1 6 by 5 7 by 5 8 by 5 9 by 5 and 10 by 5 means 2 same minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5 minus 5 by 5 this is minus 1 minus 6 by 5 minus 7 by 5 minus 8 by 5 minus 9 by 5 minus 10 by 5 this is minus 2 so like this just fill the number line why we are taking these fractions here 5 is there in the denominator so for that so now represent where is 8 by 5 just circle it and where is minus 8 by 5 here that's it so here denominator long number the base just kunmana Okay, now we will see our sixth problem. In the sixth problem, the question is express the following rational numbers as decimal numbers. In our previous video, I already told if the denominator contains 2 or 5 or both, that is terminating. Otherwise, otherwise it is not terminating here thousand is there so after decimal point three digits must be there two four two so zero point two four two here five hundred is there to get hundred or thousand we multiply with two both denominator and numerator so seven not eight by thousand right so, 0 0.708, 2 by 5. To get 10, we have to multiply with 2, right? Denominator. So, 4 by 10, that is 0 0.4. Next, 115 by 4. So, 4, ni a number to multiply just the money ki 100 sustai, 25 fours, right? Or otherwise, 155, 4 need 2 square, 5 square into 5 square. 115 into 25 by 2 into 5 whole square. So, how much we get after multiplying 115 into 25 means 2875. 2 into 5, 10, 10 square means 100. So, two zeros are there after 1. So, two digits must be there after decimal point so that is 28.71 now we will see second roman also in the same sixth problem here if you observe we can we can convert the denominator into simplest form right but observe the problems in second one there is no two or five in the denominators so here we have to do calculation 2 by 3 means we should divide 2 with 3 0 3 6 18 again 2 you can put 0 3 6 18 so it will continue like that so 2 by 3 means 0 0.666 that is 0 0.6 bar okay Similarly, 25 by 36. To simplify also, the both do not have common 
factors. So we have to divide these 25. Now we will see second one 25 by 36. So there is no common factor for both of these. So here we have to do division only. So 0, 0, point. How many times 36 divides? So we have to check these problems. 3, 6, 18, right? So we'll check 36, 6, 6, 36, 6, 3, 0. 18 plus 3. 10 minus 6, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. Again, we can put 0. Okay. So, that is 340. 3 nines are 27, right? So, 36 nines are 3 nines, 30 nines. 6 nines are 54. So, 324. After subtraction, 10 minus 6, 10 minus 4, 6, 3 minus 2, 1. Again, we can put 0. 3 fives are 15. 36 fives are taku antun. Then, echo antun. Akaduna number kana. So, we will check 4. 3 fours are 12, 30 fours are 120, 6 fours are 24, so 120, 144. So again, 4 only. So what is the decimal form here? Minus is there? Minus 0 0.69444 or minus 0 0.694 bar. Okay. Are you understanding students? Next, third one. 22 by 7. This is 5 value. 22, 7. You know the it is 3.14 in simplest form. But we will see. 7 ones are 7. 3. Again we can add 0. 7 fours are 28, 2. Again 7 twos are 14, 6, 0, 7, 8, 0, 56, 4, 0, again 7, 5, 0. So, how can we write 3.14285? Okay. So, if denominator is not in the form of 5s or 2s, we have to do division only then 11 by 9 9 ones are 9 2 point 0 9 2 are 18 2 again 9 2 are 18 2 so that will continue like that 1.222 so simply 1.2 bar so like this we can write the decimal form of the given numbers i think you understand these problems students and in our next class we will see seven eight nine problems